It is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Last time we narrowly averted disaster. I did a little figuring. There's ten of each dirty power plant in the game. Um, so that left... Sixteen left in the bag, I believe. Nine of which would have caused the destruction of the planet. Seven of which would have brought us right up to the brink. And that is what Destructo essentially gambled on, and that is what happened. So it was a less than 50-50 chance, um, but figured he came out on top. In the larger context of careers, though, that was not a bright move, because if they had all lost, they all would have been um, down based on everyone else. I think he was just kind of tickled at the, the concept that his greed could have destroyed the planet. His own personal greed could have something that he owned could have that great of an effect. And I think there's maybe a certain tantalizing hubris in that that we maybe all should watch out for. And we're going to start things out with Little Red, who is our first player in this decade, uh, which is the, the aughts. And he is going to install, because we don't have a lot of projects installed, there's this one which he could potentially build, but it's uh, he doesn't have the cubes nor the money, so he's kind of hurting uh, in terms of resources right now. But he's going to be planning for the future, and he's going to do so by installing, I think... No, he doesn't want to install there. I think he'll install here. He's kind of been doing all of his stuff in North America. He's an American man. And I actually could install there. Eh, no, he can't. All right, anyway, I'll stop. And he'll put that there. And then since he put it there, he where there's this little uh, scientist icon, he could get a new scientist or he could put down his existing scientist. Since there's an uninstalled or since there's a, a project here that no one's claimed, he's going to go ahead and put his there. Um, which is going to give him some some more options if he moves up his forestry like that. Uh, if he gets up to three or four, then he can start being eligible to build the forest as well, which gives him one one more option in the future, which is which is great. Likes options. Destructo's greed has paid off. He built the forest in Asia. Um, that's going to actually help protect everything for the future, and it also brought him up to here. You hear the herd coming in the background. It's going to make it difficult to talk, but we press on. The world can't wait, and neither can we. Um, so that's where we're at. Pegasus is doing something kind of fun. She is um, installing this thing that Little Red was on, so she had to pay him to move. Little Red could take this in a hand, but he's going to actually go here and have a summit with Pegasus, so it kind of... Um, she helps him, he helps her, they're working together here, and that's really the way you want to make green power plants in this world. And so, or it might be the way. So let's see, she's going to go up one in recycling, which lets her put one of these down. I'll just set that there as a reminder, because I'll have to think about it. And then he's going to go up two in um, solar, which is going to give him a white cube. He needs cubes right now. Um, and then she's also, does she want to go up another one in recycling? It would give her another thing there. She's going to already get to go solar one. I think she's going to go solar one. And then, did I have her move recycling? No. I could have her go recycling one and then solar another one. Yeah, so the reason she got to go another solar is because of that right there. And I'll try to do this part off camera in the future. I know it's not that fun, but it is. You love it. For the record, Pegasus changed her mind. She decided to move one of these up instead of the solar up again. We're starting the last round of the year two th or the 2000s, not the year 2000, but I guess probably 2005. I guess everyone gets to act every year. Or I don't know. There's probably some simultaneous action going on. Um, Little Red is looking at the board and he's seeing a potential problem. And that problem is the only two projects that are installed and ready to be built are solar. He doesn't have what he needs to, to build a solar plant here. And Dick can only build one solar plant. So they're the, well, I should preface that by saying they're the only two that are qualified to build this solar plant. So Pegasus is coming up. There is a potential that the next solar plant in the stack, and I'm not sure if they get a peek down in the stack or not. I'm going to assume no. There is a there's a possibility that the next one she's qualified to build, in which case there's not a problem. But he doesn't know that right now. And so it, 
you know, if the, the game's definitely over if they don't get something built in these two, or or if they replace one of, of the dirty ones. Now, how replacement works is if there's a project, like say if a, a, a power plant got built here, since there's no other new spaces, it would replace one of the dirty ones. So this would be an ideal one. At the same time, he wants to kind of pad his own nest. He needs to get some white cubes so he can build stuff himself. Um, so I think he might go into North America. I think that's probably his best bet right now. Or Oceania, one of the two. Um, yeah, let's see what kind of cards he has. He's got a Africa card, which also has a cube. Which, and an install for solar. Okay, that's not that exciting. I think he's going to go for Cold Fusion, since Banana could possibly build one of those. And she's the last player, so hopefully someone would have it installed so that Banana could build it on her turn. She has the cubes for it. It only takes three. And I think he'll go ahead and do that right now. So he's going to go into North America. He's going to put his scientist down. He's not, he's not being purely selfless here, is he? Um, he can't do that. But he is doing a different move than he would have done in order to keep the CO2 from going down. I haven't seen a lot of that in the games I've played. This is this is definitely a, a more dangerous situation than I've faced in the past, and that's because of the random setup. There are some prescribed setups you can do of the game for, you know, for different difficulty levels, but I haven't bothered to try that out. Destructo opted not to help once again. Um, he could have installed this cold fusion plant. Oh, uh, Little Red had to put it here instead of there since they don't accept cold fusion in North America. Um, and so instead, Destructo installed this forest here, which could help down the road, uh, so long as someone can install a forest. But the only person who really can do that is Destructo himself. Unfortunately for Destructo, he's low on cubes, so I don't know how he's even going to do that right now. Little Red had to move the cold fusion plant to uh, Oceania instead of North America. Uh, North America doesn't allow cold fusion. That's something that I that's easy to miss in this game, but it seems very straightforward. They only accept the things here, but you, oftentimes people forget that when they're playing, myself included and Little Red included. So Destructo opted not to help again. Um, said kind of helping himself. I don't know exactly what, how he's helping himself, but um, this has got to go, this has got to go. But he is um, installing a forest here, thinking, Hey, Asia might get another catastrophe, assuming that these other people keep the, the earth turning. Asia might get a catastrophe, in which case they'll get tech cubes there, and he, he'll he be situated, the, the primary person situated, to build this next forest um, next decade. Assuming, that is, everything ends up okay. It's now Dick's turn. His, his de decision's kind of made for him. Uh, his main decision is going to be where to do it. Um, well, I guess he'll probably do here. He's going to build a power plant in Europe. And he's going to have to pay two cubes there. And then the cost is, I don't know, three cubes. All three cubes. The cost is eight bucks, which is no problem. We have a lot of cash-rich players right now. And we'll put this here. And Dick is going to get control, which is what Dick wants. Dick wants control, and he's going to get 10 points, which Dick also wants. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not bad for Dick. And then he also goes up on solar, which is right there, giving him another cube. And does he have another? Oh, he was supposed to move this out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, since Destructo moved Dick before, Dick can move here, and Bama Lama Shama Lama get four more. Um, so he's going to get solar, which gives him another jump somewhere else. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I think he'll take here. He gets extra money for that. And then he also gets a forest. And maybe he'll take another two forest jumps so that he's now qualified to build forests. I think that, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so he's come back. Zurich goes away, we get a new summit, Geneva. And then it's gonna be up to Pegasus to decide, well, she really has no choice. She's got to install this project here 
Otherwise, everyone loses the game, and I don't think Pegasus is that type of player. She could... Yeah, it's because it's got to be something Banana can, can build. She, Banana can build Cold Fusion, but Banana can't build Force. So that's why she's got to do it here. Okay, so Banana's building here. She's building this project that was here. I just thought I'd film this so you can see how it works. Took the, the power plant from there. It's going to replace the furthest left, the oldest dirty plant. Okay, this one would be better, but you can't make that choice. So since we're taking that off, Oceania is going to get uh, one of these back. She's got to put one of these here. There's a lot of little things we have to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're going to move this down three, which is the important part of that move. One, two, three, right there. Whew, that was close. And I think that should do. Oh, no, if we get a four, we're still in trouble. One, two, three, yeah. One, two, three, four. We're still in trouble, possibly, if we get a coal, coal plant. But that de definitely made it a lot more likely. So now um, natural gas and oil are both okay, but coal is going to cause us problems. Wow. So once again, before I do any income or anything, we're going to go ahead and skip ahead to this part because this could cause the game to end. So we're looking at North America here. North America doesn't have the green power it needs. And so we're going to draw one. Oh, I drew two. Uh, that was that was scary for you, wasn't it? Because that would have been the one that ended the game. But I drew two by mistake. So we're going to draw again. Wow. All right, we're just barely okay. Going to go back up three, one, two, three. And now the world is pretty safe. I know I said that before, but so long as we build something in Asia, we're, there's no way we're going to go over the top. We are just cutting it close this game, though. Um, for those of you who are wondering, at this point in the game, if the carbon dropped below this, it would be the last round of the game. So that's, I suppose it's possible that could happen this next decade, especially considering the fact that um, there's so many large, stinky power plants here in, the, here in the oldest slot. Suppose we should pause and look at the score. I just did income. A lot more people are taking points um, instead of money. You can always choose when you take your income based on these tracks here. Uh, how much of it you want to take points and how much of you want to take money. Um, a lot of people are cash rich, so a lot of people just took points. Some people wanted to kind of pad their funds a little more, um, took half and half. I think Destructo went all points maybe. Destructo and Dick have a lot of points on that. But th there's a lot more scoring left to be done, so control is going to matter because these are all going to be worth money based on this. Um, they have their secret goals, and then their money are also going to be points. Person with the most white cubes gets points. Person with most of these cards gets the points. No one's gotten any of those cards yet. So let's see what our our um, calamity is. North America, which makes a lot of sense. So everyone but Little Red is going to owe them cubes. Um, Destructo is selfish. He doesn't have any cubes. One, and, and that's Dick's last cube. So that's going to make it really easy to build this plant for Dick, actually. And Dick's going to get the turn to do that before Little Red has a chance. Problem with the turn order here for Little Red. Uh, he kind of got, kind of got, he suffered. He suffered, poor guy. So Dick built a solar plant in North America. That made things a lot gentler. In the process, he paid uh, Pegasus to go to, uh, it was London. It wasn't London. It was... I don't know. She went to a summit there, got a bunch of, uh, climbed a, a lot of expertise because she already had a, a person there. Also helped Destructo out with that. Um, she's not doing so well in her quest to become the leader of everything. She's close to getting second place in a couple things, but, um, and she's really good at recycling. So that's where she's at. But uh, key to that was that helped her get to four on the forest track. And she's got the cube, so she can start install or constructing some forests, maybe starting with this one here, which would also get her control of Asia and all of these chips. She's got a lot already. And she now she has three scientists. She's got to get out there. Um, so she's got a lot, a lot of choices to make now. Um, we're going to, we're going to be heading into her turn. Mighty turn for Pegasus, taking that power plant out of the grasp of Destructo. He had been toying with it, hoping he would get it. 
uh, did not. And so Pegasus, who's kind of not, kind of been floundering through much of the game, is starting to come back. She got a bunch of points off of that. She's here now on this track. I don't know how much that matters for the final game, but it kind of gives you some indication. Um, she also got a couple of, uh, of forest expertise, so I think she has a good shot of getting to the end of the track. If you're at the end of the track, you're the leader no matter what, even if you're tied, so that's okay. So that's gonna give her eight points at least for expertise. And if she can get her solar up, that's kind of what she needs to start focusing on. She'll be doing well, and let's take a look at these. She has solar. She's, has she done a cold fusion plant? No, I think she just has recycling. She never got her cold fusion down. If she can get solar and cold fusion, then she can start taking things. See, is there any, oh, there's a, there's a plant solar there. I always forget to look at these when I'm playing multiplayer because there's enough other stuff to look at, but. Oh yeah, she could take that. So if she can get a solar down, she can start grabbing some of those cards and get some more points. Things are looking up for Pegasus. Banana's playing a little cagey. Uh, there's several projects she could install but instead of doing that, she just decided to propose another one. She, she's tired of people, other people installing projects that, uh, or other people constructing projects that she installs. So she's, she's just trying to get a lot of projects out in the places that she needs. Because um, remember, she wants to, she scores by having, she scores bonus by having projects in a lot of different regions. So she's just trying to keep it spread out, hoping someone else will install there and thus, um, installing the project, thus giving her a chance to construct, to swoop in and construct. So she's just uh, proposing projects that that she can later hopefully build. Banana thinks she found her opening because of some errors and some other things that other people have done for their own reasons that I'm not going to embellish on right now. Um, one being that Pegasus uh, turned this over, which was there before, but it's not allowed there because of this whole thing that says it's not allowed there. Um, Banana can safely assume, I think fairly safely, that Little Red on his turn is going to be wanting to install this forest rather than this um, bio thingy here. So she's going to go ahead and install the bio thingy herself. Let's see, does she control anything? I don't think she does. She's got to take it out of pocket and to flip it, but she's going to get another one back bumps up the price and she gets a cube which is great and she gets three dollars biofuel is a potpourri of benefit and so then next decade she figures in 2020 she'll be able to construct um, construct that thing there and then get get a presence in Africa first person in Africa Here's her score track going into the final decade. Looks pretty tight. Um, I don't know who the winner is really right now. That's fine though, because we haven't done final game scoring. Um, we had a problem in Asia. So we have some new tech cubes there that could help in building some stuff. And some people are gonna be concerned about that because they just lost tech cubes to Asia. So we're going back again to how we started with Dick being the first player. We're gonna go two rounds and then this game of CO2 is over. Let's do it. After Dick dilly-dallied, Pegasus probably built what's gonna be her last factory or a power plant of the game. Uh, she got this, this juicy forest here. Got her in the lead on the track, which is nice. Um, wasn't able to take any UN cards, unfortunately. Uh, it'd been nice if she was able to do that. But um, did get up to here on the ex on the uh, this track here, and she's getting close on this to being in in the lead. But it might be that she's just scoring points on two of them. Banana, on the other hand, is going to be able to take a UN card. She's going to take this one right here. One of the weaker ones in terms of points, five points. She has to pay a cube to do it. That might take her out of the running to build another power plant though. So she, she certainly has the money to do so. So if a power plant opens up either in Asia or South America, she might be able to do so on her final turn of the game. She built a power plant in Africa, by the way. Little Red found an opening. There's been kind of a standoff in terms of installing these solar plants because if you install it, someone else could 
could build it. So he's worried about Dick building. But Dick is one white cube short, and he has no more cards in his hand, so he knows he can't just pull a cube out of nowhere. And so he feels safe, safe enough, in fact, I think, to even move his scientist here. Yeah, go ahead and do it. And then capitalize on, on the Geneva Summit with a banana there. Destructo is in a, in a rough position for his second to last turn of the game. Um, he's looking out at the board. He sees a lot of uninstalled proposed projects. The only uh, installed project is solar here. He has no skill in solar. He only has skill in cold fusion and forestry, um, which neither of those seem that like there's there's two cold fusions here, right? But if he turns this one over, anyone can install it who has cold fusion. Cold fusion's been pretty popular because there's these three cubes here. The one over there, if he installs it, hmm, figures Dick could probably take it anyway. So there's that. So if no matter what, if he installs something, he's going to lose it, right? If he proposes, that's not going to give him a chance to have it installed, and someone else probably isn't going to install whatever he proposes by the time it gets to his turn in order for him to construct. I think what he's going to do is he's going to just go ahead and <laughs> install this recycling here, because if nothing else, gives him one of these nice discs that he likes. Pays a dollar to Dick. Dick's going to try for that right there. And I think he'll go ahead and put his person there because maybe he'll get a chance to build even that. Um, Recycling is pretty easy. Pegasus doesn't have the money. Dick. Dick is probably going to build the recycling or the solar. No, he can't do the solar. Yeah, Dick will probably build the recycling now from under him. So although that by no means is uh, an ideal situation for Dick to have this be his final act in the game. It is beautiful in a way in that it goes one, two, three, four. We're out of the danger zone, people. The world is going to be better because of this recycling plant that Dick just built right there. So thank you, Dick, for doing that. One, two, three, four, five. And thank you, for Destructo, for enabling Dick to build that recycling plant, thereby getting rid of this coal plant and allowing us to move four spaces on this track down towards a calmer, uh, more predictable environment. It's Pegasus' last turn of the game. Cards here aren't too compelling. Uh, she can't build anything. She has no money, no white cubes. She could flip something over, but at the price of the um, these purple discs, I forget what they're called, permits, right now, Flip it, using one to flip one over isn't that exciting. Um, she could get the equivalent of a disc by flipping that over, but then she also has to pay, and she can't pay to move anyone off. So the only thing she could really flip over is her own solar place here. I guess she could use a card. Couldn't she to get some money? Yeah, she could get $2 with this. And let's see, does she have... She says recycling, right? Recycling, recycling. And some four. So yes, yeah, so she can't get one of those cards. So I guess she will use this card to get two dollars, at least. So that does open up the possibility of her installing some things. But if she just puts parks a new project right there, that's six dollars with no fuss and muss. And I think she appreciates that simplicity, as do I. So she's gonna put down a recycling, and this lets her choose what she's gonna get a point in at the end here, uh, an expertise point. And she'll put a recycling in order to max out that track. It's worth a point. That's pretty good. Well, though, if she did, no, that's actually even better. Never mind. She's not going to do recycling. She is going to do, well, she can put a recycling down and still pick to, to no. What am I talking about? Um, she put one of these down. Jump up two points there at the end of the game. That's nice. There we go. Cold fusion. Banana's final turn of the game. She's going to do something similar, but first she's going to sell this disc here and get five bucks off of it and lower the price for everyone else. I don't know if that's that helpful to her. Probably would have been more helpful for Pegasus to do that, but she did it anyway. Um, so she did that, and then she's going to use her final card along with... Eh, let's just throw it to the side. 
along with whatever she wants to advance in. She could advance now. That one would be fun because it put her somewhere else. This would give her another point. And if she advanced in that, yeah. She'll advance in something. She's going to put it there, get $6, and that's how she's going to end her life in this game. After Little Red built the final clean power plant of the, the game, Destructo is going to take the final turn of the game. And not a lot to go for right now, so he's just going to go for the most cubes. And how he's going to do that is he's going to take this plant here, plop it there, Put his scientist down. I already moved it up here. And then he gets two cubes. So he's going to have the most cubes. We are at end of the game scoring. End of the game is right now. Can you feel it? The end? We're going to add up points. We'll do it together. Let's start with... I don't know when you're supposed to do this in the, in the order. There's a specific order you're supposed to do everything. Um... But I know that the order doesn't quite work because I think one of the first things the order has you do is sell all these off. But then when do you score these cards? Because this card is how many of these you have in hand. So I think if you sell them all off, it doesn't. There's no way you can meet that goal that Destructo has. So let's look at their special goals first before we go into other things. Control. Um, and you just lost control, didn't you, Dick? I'm sorry. That's harsh at the end. Um, control, he gets four points per. He has one region, so he gets four points. One, two, three, four. I'm just going to go around. Uh, the actual number of their points doesn't matter. Whoever's furthest on the track wins. Um, master of Expertise, Pegasus. You have two, so that's four per. You get eight points from your company goal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're currently in the lead. Um, Factories in different regions. Let's take a look for banana. One, two, three different regions. Banana, that's pretty good. You get nine points for that. Well done. Your company is proud of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're sitting on top of Dick. Uh, little Red, three points per factory after the first. You've got one, two, three, four factories. That's three points for you as well. Um, or nine points, I mean three, three scoring things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You're sitting on top of Banana, who's sitting on top of Dick. All right, Destructo, you get point, two points for each of these you have in your hand. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen points. That's not the maximum, but you got quite a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You're ahead on that that chart. Now we um, are going to give you these based on your control, I suppose. It's maybe not the perfect order that you're supposed to do things, but I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. There you go, Dick. You can have that. And then here we go, Little Red. You can have that. And here we go. Pegasus, very good. All right, so now what do we count points on? Um, oh, income. This is tricky. The, the, you wouldn't know this from the rule book, but it says distribute income to all players. What they mean is you get to score points on all your places on the track, okay? Even if you're not first or second. So we'll go ahead. We'll go this way. We'll start with Destructor. Destructor gets six. 11, 13 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, and then we'll go to little red. He has 10, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You're sitting on top of Destructo. Banana has 7... Whoops. And 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right. And then Pegasus, she has 11, 15, 18. Great. That's a great amount there, Pegasus. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 200 points. Uh, not really. Dick has 10, 12, 16, 18. That's really good for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Ooh. Really close. Now, uh, Destructo has the most of those, so he gets three points. By those, I mean white cubes. One, two, three. Uh, Banana has the most of these cards, and I don't think I scored that card either, so she gets, I'll give her eight right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right on top of Pegasus is Banana. And then, I guess now it's money, and each of these is worth four. So it's, each of these is worth two points, essentially. So two, four, well, maybe I'll count this part out, and then I will show you as I count the spaces, because I think you like it when I count the spaces, but you won't like it when I count the money. 21 points of resources for Destructo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 400 points for Destructo. That's his final score. He's not going to move from his this spot. So if anyone passes them, you know they've they've gotten better than him in this game. If they don't pass them, you know that he's won. Let's go with uh, Little Red next. Little Red got 23 from resources. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. One space behind Destructo. Very close. And that could have been, you know, a difference of me forgetting to count a factory. I do that a lot. I keep calling them factories. They're, they're power plants. But I guess they're factories that produce power. All right. Banana. Banana. Hers is pretty easy. Two, four, six, eight. Um, Thirteen. Fourteen. Um... 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whoa! She's tied with Destructo. There must be a tiebreaker. Probably has something to do with factories or yeah, power plants. All right, let's go all right on to Pegasus. She doesn't have a lot. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21 for Pegasus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Whoa, Pegasus. You're in the lead. I don't think Dick is going to catch up. I think Pegasus is going to be our surprise winner. Remember, she wasn't doing so well at the start. 2, 4, 6, 8. Nine plus three is twelve for Dick. Dick's way back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, there we go. So we have Pegasus in first place. I'll look at the tiebreaker to see who's in second place. I'll get right back to you. All right, so the tiebreaker has to do with most power plants. Hopefully that will break the tie because further tiebreakers are have to do with expertise, and I took those all off of the uh, board. So um, who are we looking at? We're looking at Banana and Destructo. I think Banana probably got him beat on power plants. One, two, three, four. Destructo has one, two. Yep, so Banana's going to be second place. We'll just give her a point and her a point. And then here we go. Here's our, our order here. Du -du -du -du. First Pegasus, then Banana, then Destructo, then Little Red, and then Dick. It's funny, like, they're so close, but that makes a whole place point, just being that, you know, a, a difference of more power plants, or, you know, that wasn't even a difference in points here, and this was a difference in one point, and this was a little big difference. He didn't do so well, did he? he the control is so ephemeral, ephemeral, you can gain it and lose it. People didn't work together that much this game. Um, a lot of... A lot of people just kind of not wanting to install. 
projects, but still the earth is saved, doing well. This parts per million is better than our parts per million right now. I think we're at 400, our, our planet currently. So we're above this, but we're not here yet. All right, we'll see you next time on the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament where we will go through um, what happens in their ecology and then we'll probably have to go right back to another game because, well, I don't know. Uh, no, we'll roll them around the track a little bit and then we'll go to another game. And I found Watermelon back there, so she's maybe needs a turn. I don't know. I've lost track of a lot of stuff. But we'll, we'll get all that sorted next time on the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament English slash Pasha dash Roulette 2. Careers.